Hi guys, Karen Proctor here with Tuesday's Walk and Talk. Uh, today, I had to work out from home. I don't know. I, I just believe that there has been something in the air recently when I uh, come out in the morning. It's just something that has been making me feel bad. But I want to be consistent. And I am consistent with my working out. So guess what? I worked out from home with a walk video. And then another video for arms. Because I realized I need to start working on my arms. They are not what they used to be. So I did two workouts from home. And I am going to include those two uh, workout videos, the links uh, attached to this video, just in case you want to see the workout that I'm doing, that I did today, and you may want to try it yourself. You know, there's an old saying that says, there's more than one way to skin the cat. And so for two days, I wasn't really able to get out. Uh, so I want to be consistent. Then I thought about the the videos uh, that you can go to on YouTube. I do use them from time to time. But anyway, I just want to share with you this word. Um, Sunday, as I was preparing for trash day, I was sitting in my yard and I noticed that the yard needed to be raked up. And I do have... Uh, big mango tree and so from time to time the squirrels and the birds or whatever will crawl up in the tree and get them something to eat and drop <laughs> the rest of the mangoes on the ground with the seeds and everything so the flies come so as i was just chilling uh sunday evening i said you know what let me go ahead and rake this yard up because tomorrow is going to be trash day that way I can uh, put all this stuff in the trash. Because I like my yard to look good. I, I'm just a neat person. I like everything to look good from the outside to the inside. But with that being said, as I was raking up, I noticed a lot of seeds down there. Mango seeds, that is. And so I said, let me go ahead and get all of this stuff up, these seeds up because I have experience with that. If you don't pick those things up, they're going to go down into the earth and they're going to begin to grow. Now, it's not a problem with the mango seeds growing, but I can't have them growing all over the yard. So the thing is, when you see that seed, and if you don't give your attention to it, you forget about it. Even though it's covered up, it doesn't mean that it is gone. That's a word for somebody. Just because you don't see that seed, doesn't mean that that seed is not there anymore. It's under the earth and it's growing and it's going to grow up in a place that you're not gonna like. So as I was doing that, the Holy Spirit began to minister to me. He said, Here, here's a word that you can share with my people. And as I finished working out this morning, and I began to think about that from Sunday, and I say, Lord, if I can tie uh, a passage of scripture to this, what will it be? He gave me two passages of scripture. That's Galatians chapter 6 verse 7 through 9 also ecclesiastics chapter 3 and verse 2 and i'm going to drop that scripture down below in the link of this uh video as well so what does galatians chapter 6 verse 7 through 9 says it says be not deceived for god is not mocked for that that a man soweth is that that he reap if he sow to the flesh he's going to reap corruption. If he sowed to the spirit, he will re uh, reap 
life everlasting. And so that's something that each of us need to think about the seeds that we are sowing. Are they good seeds that's going to reap a godly harvest? Or are they bad seeds that when they grow up, are you ready to deal with the consequences of the bad seeds that you have sown? I know we like the good seed. I know we like the good harvest. But are we prepared, prepared <laughs> to, to reap from the flesh? Sorry about the noise, guys. I'm, I'm here in my yard. People are passing by. Uh, yeah, are we pre prepared to uh, reap from the flesh or are we prepared to reap from the Spirit of God? We got to be careful of the seeds that we plant in our life. Just like I just gave the analogy of the mango seeds that fall down and then they grow up all over the yard. They sprout up. Am I prepared to have mango trees all over my yard? And so we can equate that to the natural. So when I sow good seeds in life, do good deeds, uh, do what God required me to do, love, even the those sometimes that's not uh, lovable, forgive where I need to forgive. Don't you know that there's going to come a time that I'm going to reap a bountiful harvest in a good way? And even when you, again, let's get back to uh, sowing those corrupt seeds. There's going to be a time when you will reap corruption. And then people say, oh, I don't know why that's happening to me. I don't know why that's happening to my family. Could it be those seeds that you have sown and you totally forgot about it? Could it be that? Mm. Just fruit for thought. Now, I want to give you a perfect example about what I mean that when seeds are sown even though they go into the ground and you totally forget about it they're going to come up which brings me to Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 2 as a matter of fact it starts off with there's a time for everything and so and then there are some times when I'm also going to mention this. There are some times when we sow seed and we don't even realize it. That's why we always have to ask God to check our heart, creating us a clean heart, renewing us a right spirit. Is there anything that I did that I'm doing that is not pleasing to you to bring it to my life? That way I can pluck it up out of my life, ask you for forgiveness, ask the person or people for forgiveness if I have offended anybody. Because there are sometimes we do things and we're just not conscious of it. We're not aware of it. So I want to bring you to that. You see me standing here in the back of a mango tree. This is a young mango tree. It's very young. Now I'm going to move. You see the big branch that's a, a avocado tree. But you see here, here's another growing mango tree. Just uh, started growing just a few years ago. Now listen, I didn't even know that those seeds were dropped over there. Normally when I see them, I try to pick it up because I don't want it to be uh, sprouting up all over the yard. <laughs> but because I didn't catch it in time enough, I wasn't aware of it, they begin to grow up. So guess what? I have two, I have a mature tree over here and I love it. I love, absolutely love mangoes, but I don't want mango trees all over the yard and because i was not aware that these seeds were dropped over here and over there so guess what i have two mango trees growing up 
is it so much a bad thing? Not really. But as they begin to grow and grow, they're going to go to my neighbor yard. They're going to expand over here. They're going to span over there. And do I really want that? No. So if we don't catch things when it needs to be caught, it's going to produce a harvest. Are we prepared for every seed, the harvest of every seed that we sow? When it comes to the good things, I bet you are saying yes. But then we also have to check out those bad seeds that we sow. Mm. Action, deeds that you sow in your life. It's coming a time that it's going to reap up if you don't repent. If repent means turn around, change your ways, do something about it. Mm -hmm. So Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 2 says, and I'm, I'm going to kind of paraphrase it. It said, there's a time for everything in life, a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up. Now see, Sunday, this past Sunday, as I was preparing for trash day on Monday, I saw all those seeds, mango seeds. So I knew that it was a time to pluck up. Because if I didn't pluck those seeds up from the root, the Bible also says in the book of Genesis that every seed produces after its own kind. Come on. God ain't never lied about his word. God ain't never lied. He never twist the truth. He never embellished nothing he said. His word is real. This real talk. Every seed produce after its own kind. Like Genesis, uh, not Genesis, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 says, it's a time to pluck up that that was planted. And Sunday was the time to pluck that up because like Genesis said, every seed produces after its own kind. So I would just have turned this yard over to be a, 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 a mango orchard, if I could say it like that, <laughs> if I'm not careful to, to pluck up those seeds. Likewise, the avocado, but for some reason, the avocado trees haven't been producing so much over the last years. And it was just amazing that I found one avocado on the ground a couple of weeks ago and so just like e ecclesiastics say there's a time for everything a time to have and a time that you won't have i remember when this avocado tree was in high blooming i used to have to haul these things off take them to church take them to work give them to my neighbors, my friends, my family. Now this avocado tree isn't doing anything. So with that being said, if you don't think that the word of God is real, you better go and check um, yourself or just ask God to show you, to uh, give you an understanding of who he is and what the word is. I can just share the word of God with you just by standing out here in my yard. Just this tree alone. Just talking about these trees alone. It's the word of God. God's word will never ever fail. It's a time for everything under the sun. A time to have and a time that you won't have. So even for the viewer, you may be going through something in your life like, oh my God, I don't have this, I don't have that. Well, it's a season for everything. And just hold on to God's unchanging hand. God is gonna provide for you. He will make a way for you. He will make a way for you. So even in those times that you don't have, you still have to learn to give God thanks and give God praise anyway because he is worthy of all your thanks. He's worthy of all your praise. So I just wanted to share that story with you that whatever it is, every seed, action, thought, and deed that's in your life, <laughs> that's not right. Pluck it up from the root. 
because harvest day will come. And then for those of you that have been sowing good seeds and you're feeling like nothing is going to come up, something will come up sooner or later. Water it with praise, worship, and thanksgiving. Just like I just showed you these two mango trees, two young mango trees. I didn't know the seed. I, I didn't even know the seed was there, was planted there. But I have two additional trees now. So what I'm going to do is find someone that uh, want mango trees. And if they are skilled or know someone that is skilled to be able to pluck these trees up while they are still young uh, without messing, messing up the roots and that they can replant it in their yard. That's what I wanna do. Well, beloved, this is Apostle Karen Proctor with another walk and talk video. And somebody may be saying, Apostle, you cheating. I don't see you out there uh, in the park. Well, what did I tell you? at the walk at home today. I worked out at home, so I'm dropping the links in the video there. God bless you. And another thing I wanna nugget take from this day is being consistent. Uh, just because the air wasn't right for me because of my circumstances, that don't mean that I need to stop working out. It's always another way to skin the cat. I did it from home. Well, if this video has have blessed you, why don't you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell. That way, when I upload new content, you will be privileged to it. Bye for now. God bless you. See you in the next video.